Living through life can be difficult when those things that makes life good is not working well. Are you going through a lot in your life and you feel like you cannot continue? Has life been so unfair that you do not have a reason to live again? I want you to know that God will remember your days of pain and sorrow. He is about to wipe every tears from your eyes and give you a reason to smile again. If God is saying He will remember all the days you have experienced pains and sorrows, it means that He is about to replace the pain and sorrow into happiness. Weeping may last for a night, but joy will definitely come in the morning. Your days of pains and sorrows are over. What has cost you your peace and joy is over, because God is going to restore you. He is going to put a new song in your mouth in the name of Jesus. God is aware of all that you are going through in life. He has not abandoned you. He has not turned His face away from you. At the appointed time, He is going to turn your situation around for the better. He knows the end from the beginning, and His timing is perfect. That is why you should trust His own time. When God chooses to remember a man, that man's life will never remain the same. People will marvel at how the story of that man will change, and that is what God is going to do in your life. He is going to restore all those years you have suffered, that you will no longer remember the pain and sorrow again. God is going to give you a new story. He is going to bring joy and laughter in your life, and you will be surprised at what your life will become. God has never left His people hopeless. He has never left them to suffer till death. Therefore, your case is not going to be different. He is a God that never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It does not take God a minute to change the life of a man. You may have been in pains all through your life, but when God remembers you, He can turn your life around in a minute. When we say God will remember you, it does not mean that He has forgotten about you. Rather, it means that it is the right time for God to change your situation. Time and season is in the hands of God, therefore, He knows the right time for everything. The problem is that as human beings, when we want something, we choose the time we want it, and when we do not get it at that particular time, we feel angry and disappointed. But you need to understand that God is not a man. His ways are different from that of men, so do not expect God to work the way you want. Rather, follow Him the way He works. Sometimes, you may try your best to see that you are living a life that pleases God, yet things are falling apart in your life and you are full of pain and sorrow. You may see people that their ways are not right with God progressing, and you get angry and feel God is being unfair. But it is not like that. Never envy the wicked when they are progressing, because it is all vanity. God will never leave you the way you are. He is about to change your status. You are on your way to better days. Your life is going to take a new turn. Put your complete trust in the Lord, because He will never fail you. He will never forsake you or put you to shame. Keep serving and waiting on Him because He is about to do something great in your life. All those that have mocked and laughed at you will be put to shame. They will know that waiting on the Lord is not a waste of time. The woman with the issue of blood also faced pain and sorrow. She sold all she had just to ensure that she gets well, but to no avail. She went from one hospital to the other, and from one doctor to the other, but still, no result. She lived with the sickness for 12 years. Imagine the pain and sorrow this woman went through. But she did not give up, and when she heard that Jesus was passing, she determined in her heart that if only she can touch the helm of his garment, she will be healed, and that was exactly what happened to her. How many years have you been in pain that you want to end your life? Have faith in God and put your complete trust in Him because He will never put you to shame. Are you sick and it has cost you all you have? Have the doctors told you that your case is impossible? 
Do not believe what man says, because man can fail. Rather, put your trust in the Lord. Have you not heard of people that had cancer and when the doctor said they have a few months to live, God healed them? Or have you not heard of people that had no womb, but by the help of God, they were able to conceive? God is still in the business of doing wonders. He is still making change, and He is still blessing people. So do not give up on Him. The scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Therefore, if you want God to work on your case, trust Him completely. Having faith in God is believing that things will get better even when things are getting worse. It is moving on when you are seeing that there is no way because you know that God will make a way for you. The Lord that made a way for the Israelites in the wilderness is the one saying today that He will remember your pain and sorrow. There is no need to worry because your life is in the hands of God. However, when you are still living in sin, God may not remember you because He does not dwell in the counsel of sinners. If you know that your ways are not right before the Lord, it is time to make things right. It does not matter what you have done in the past. Inasmuch as you come before Him, He is ready to accept you back and cleans you from every saint of sin. But if you say you have no sin, you lie and the truth is not in you. Therefore, confess your sins before God because He is faithful and just to forgive you. It is also important that you try to live a holy and a righteous life. The enemy may try to deceive you so that he will go back to your old way of doing things, but be determined in your heart not to go back to your past life, no matter what people will say or do to you. People may laugh, mock, and say all sorts of things about you for the sake of Christ. They may insult you and say that your life is miserable, and you claim you are a child of God, but do not be discouraged. Noah too had to face this persecution from people. The Lord asked him to build an ark in a time that there was no rainfall. People laughed at him and thought that he is a madman, but that did not stop him from obeying God. A lot of us listen to what people say. That is why we do not obey the voice of the Lord. We do not want people to call us names, therefore we choose to disobey God. Noah did not act that way. He did not allow what people said get to him. At the end of the day, we saw that God wiped the pain and sorrow from his eyes. He wiped the whole earth but spared only the household of Noah. There is great gain in trusting the Lord, no matter what condition you are in. You may not see it now, but your reward is great. The Lord will make his face shine upon you. Therefore, hold on a bit longer. The Lord has not forgotten all that you have been through. He will wipe all your tears, and you will have every reason to smile again. I may not know what you are going through in life, but you have been struggling and battling with one issue or the other in your life, and you are so discouraged that you no longer see the essence of living. I want you to know that God has remembered you. He will take all your pains and sorrows. And your days of pain are over because your season of breakthrough has come. This is your time of jubilation and celebration. Your life will never remain the same. God will wipe every tear from your eyes and give you a reason to rejoice. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Your time for deliverance has come. You will no longer experience pain and sorrow in your life again. In the name of Jesus.